Hey, what's up, everyone? Salutations to y'all. And uh, today I'm going to be bringing you uh, something, something really special. My magnum opus of Black Ops, if you will. My, my masterpiece. Although it's not flawless, it's a, uh, it's as close to as a masterpiece as I'm going to get. Um, this is a hundred kill game. Uh, brought to you by yours truly. And as you can see, um, this, I know what you may be thinking. Razor, we've seen 100 game, 100 kill gameplays since, you know, Black Ops first came out. What makes yours any special aside of the fact that it's you and we love you? Well, first of all, thank you. I, I do love the love, but, um, uh, yes, you know, there are plenty of other 100 kill gameplays out there. And um, mine isn't exceptional when you uh, compare it to those when it comes to, you know, just pure beastly gameplay. But I can d guarantee you, you've never seen a 100 kill gameplay like this one before. See, so I already got my Blackbird. Um, because, you know, yeah, I'm rocking, you know, high kill streaks. But, you know, I'm using an M16 which, with an ACOG, which I have, I have not seen in a 100 kill gameplay yet. And another thing is, I'm playing the objective, you know, I'm trying to win this game above all. I'm trying to get, uh, you know, triple cap for as long as I can, and uh, I do hold the triple cap for uh, the majority of this game. And so, you know, it could have gone a lot longer. It's a regular domination, so it's a 66, no ground war. This uh, domination score only goes up to 200. And uh, it's only going to be a matter of minutes before I get to the triple digits for the first time in uh, a regular uh, domination. You know, getting 100 kills in demolition is uh, really nothing to brag about. And you see, I got my puppies, my Cujos, my, my Scooby Squad going to work here. And I'm not going to lie, they do a very generous portion of the work for me. As you can see... I'm defending flags, I'm capping flags all by myself, you know, I'm, I'm taking all this time away from getting kills to, you know, capture positions and to, uh, to defend positions. And, uh, you know, Nuketown is probably the, the, uh, the map that really is going to stand out in people's minds when it comes to Black Ops because it's the most popular. So you get a defense right there. Um, Nuketown's was most popular map in this game by far, so I'm sure pretty much this goes for everyone when I could say um, that it was the most played map that you've probably experienced in this game. And uh, so, you know, it was really easy for me to learn this map like the back of my hand. I know this map extremely well, I know the spawns, I know what positions to hold. And I know where to put up, where, where to uh, to hold up when I'm getting in my chopper gunner, nice little bunk beds. And of course, you'll see me uh, my next chopper gunner on the uh, in the opposite uh, in the opposite uh, house. And so I'm just a tri -tri triple killing these guys left and right. And you know, chopper gunner. I'm sure we've all experienced chopper gunner or two on this map, and uh, you know, it's it's pretty beastly. You get the claymore kill there to uh, cover my six while I'm up in this chopper gunner and it gets me my blackbird which is really awesome so I can uh, get another a chopper gunner and dog set up here calling the blackbird immediately notice this guy go ahead and do a little pre-firing which was a very smart decision because that guy had a shotgun and he might have killed me if I didn't get a couple of bullets on target before that uh, battle was fully engaged so uh, it's always a nice uh, decision to pre-fire and uh, that was a really crucial skill to learn in Black Ops uh, because of the lack of stopping power and getting a couple bullets on target was uh, really beneficial to these uh, to these gunfights in this game. So, uh, uh, unfortunately we lose A there somehow, I don't know why there's only one dude, but I picked up his MP5K and then I pick up a Spaz. And then, what do you know, I pick up a Makarov, and I'm not going to get one, but two kills this puppy, because first of all, that guy's inaccurate, <laughs> uh, so I, I did get a little lucky there, but, um, majority of my kills is uh, with the M16, with the ACOG, this is how I like using this gun, as you can see, I was trying to cap a flag, and I did get killed, so, 
you know, th this is a, a special gameplay for me because not only do I get 100 kills, but I'm playing the objective, and that's how I always like to play, you know, when it comes to playing demolition, I want to win as quick as I can, I don't want it to be strung out. When it comes to search and destroy, I defuse that bomb. I don't want there to be a sixth or seventh round just to get a couple more kills. When it comes to domination, I want to get that triple cap and I want to get that victory. You know, it it doesn't really appeal to me to uh, spawn trap these guys, have like your whole team post up, looking at one spawn point, and you know, getting uh, you know a bunch of kills evenly spread out through the entire team. I'm all about me, and. Uh, <laughs> I want to get kills for myself, and I want to win the game, and that does translate to helping out my team when it comes to uh, you know, you know, picking up this, their slack. And you see, I was really uh, not paying attention there. I should know there was a ghost kid there on B. So unfortunately, the uh, enemy does have two flags at the moment, but uh, that does help me out in the long run when it comes to the game ending. Uh, but like I said, I'm all about me in this game. I'm not running with anyone. I'm just, uh, I, I'm, I'm running with one guy, that's right. Um, but I'm still about me. I want to get kills for myself, and I want to win the game. And uh, if, the, if my teammates want to win the game too, you know, that's all, all the better for them. I'm going to do what I can to make that happen. And uh, if they want to ride on my coattails, you know, so be it. Because you know, I want to get the victory. That's what's fun to me. I, the goal of this game is to win. And if you reach your goal, then you must be doing something right. And, uh, you know, so that's what I like to do in any Call of Duty. And Black Ops was a pretty, pretty awesome game. While it's lasted, uh, as you all know, All Warfare 3 is coming out here in less than, less than... 20 hours of the time that I'm posting this, uh, or recording it rather. Got my pythons out here, and these, these, these were a, not a nice fun gun to use, uh, comparable to dual magnums model for two, and uh, we'll be seeing some returning revolvers up in this next game. And uh, you know, Attack Mass Pro, uh, that was also really nice, being immune to stun flashes, or at least you know heavy resistance to them, and also marking where a stun or flash enemy is, that's a, that part of tac mass I'm, I'm gonna miss a little bit, cause you know, it's just a nice little added bonus. Uh, I'm gonna miss the ACOG on this M16, the ACOG in Black Ops was much better than it was in Modern Warfare 2, although a lot of people miss the ACOG from COD 4, and uh, for those people out there that did like the uh, ACOG from COD 4, it is making its return in Modern Warfare 3, um, that ACOG is coming back. Uh, they're bringing a lot of stuff back from COD 4 for Modern Warfare 3 to please people, such as bringing back the ACOG, uh, which was so popular, especially with the M40 uh, sniper rifle, and the MP5s coming back, which is real popular. The red dot, the way that it looked in COD 4, is coming back for Modern Warfare 3. And, uh, so, but, you know, I'm gonna miss Black Ops. It was a total blast. I'm Finishing up my chopper gonna right here. I get a nice little triple kill. I know at this point I'm real close to 100 and I get that guy I only need one more and I get shot down trying to f finish this guy. I can't I see it's 199 I try to python that guy out the window and then what is that in the kill feed? That's my claymore buddy gets me my 100th kill and my final score here is 107 with four captures and six defends I can guarantee you, you have not seen a 100 kill gameplay like that one before. And we win by a healthy 100 point margin, a 201 to 100 domination uh, final score. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, be sure to leave your comments below on your favorite moments from Black Ops. I'm certainly going to miss it. Having a nice 100 kill gameplay to uh, go out on is uh, pretty nice. And uh, so I guess I'll see you guys in, uh, in Modern Warfare 3. I just got a couple more videos today uh, to get you guys amped up for it. So uh, I'll see you then.